The coalition air campaign in Afghanistan is continuing at a relentless pace as U.S. jets focus on a new priority, Taliban troops. In the latest round of raids, U.S. warplanes blasted the Afghan capital of Kabul and the Taliban stronghold of Kandahar. Attacks were also aimed at Taliban troops on the front lines north of the capital. Witnesses say the U.S.-led strikes also hit two homes, killing civilians, including children. The Taliban say some 900 civilians have been killed since the attacks began, but the U.S. disputes that figure. Meanwhile, the Pentagon is calling the first acknowledged use of U.S. ground forces in Afghanistan a success, and the military released new details on the Friday night commando raid. This Defense Department video shows Special Operations Forces raiding a compound belonging to Taliban leader Mohammed Omar. U.S. elite forces gathered intelligence and destroyed weapons but took no prisoners. It appears intense lobbying at the APEC Business Summit in China has paid off for the Bush administration. As the forum wrapped up earlier today in Shanghai, members of the Economic Forum agreed to crack down on terrorist movements and money sources. A document issued at the summit also calls on the UN to take a leadership role in anti-terrorism measures. Meanwhile, officials say President Bush is likely to tell Russia today the United States intends to withdraw from the 1972 anti-ballistic missile treaty. The U.S. sees the treaty as a potential obstacle to its proposed missile defense system. President Bush may have been speaking literally when he said he wanted Osama bin Laden dead or alive. Last month, Mr. Bush signed an intelligence finding directing new operations against bin Laden. The order includes the authority to kill him and his followers. U.S. policy forbids peacetime assassinations, but killing enemies are allowed during time of war. Mr. Bush has called the action against terrorists a war and has notified both Congress and the U.N. he's acting in the self defense of the U.S. When we come back, we'll tell you about the Muslims in Texas who are standing up against terrorism. Stay with us.